Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 3rd to the 9th of October 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. We have the Four of Swords. For some of you taking that step back to think, to get your head around a situation to see the way forward, maybe. This is sometimes removing yourself from a situation that you're in to get your head clear. What do I do next? We have the devil repeating negative cycles can be unhealthy, toxic. It can represent a team culture. It can represent a toxic boss. It can be you know, unhealthy influence in terms of love, romance, relationships. We can be addicted to this person, attracted, chemistry, passion, desire. It's ego energy. But knowing it's not for our highest good, it's the chain that's difficult to break, the devil. It can be to do with addiction, somebody who has an addiction problem as well, uh, or our, our own vices of some kind. So this can be somebody taking a step back to deal with whatever that devil represents. Either looking at the devil head on, whether it's within ourselves or somebody in our external environment or people. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. King of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this feels here, Sagittarius, you're wanting to get perspective on a situation and you're wondering what to do next. And the message is take that step back. We'll serve you well this week. That is the overarching energy to get your head clear. In that space, you will find clarity and see how to move forward, generally to resolve this situation. Because the King of Cups and the Devil, this is somebody who, it, it feels this is a person with the Devil energy, somebody who could be tempting, uh, somebody who might be offering you something that's attractive. Now, in a love scenario, again, this is that tempting offer to restore balance, harmony in terms of love, romance, relationships. Could also be a family or friendship as well. And you're wondering whether you want to stay within this negative repeating cycle or whether they're going to change. For those of you, this King of Cups, it could well be it, it could well be somebody in terms of, of, you know, a work scenario as well. I mean, however this resonates for you, really, the court cards can be different instances. The King of Cups can be a people person, can be somebody who is generally quite kind and compassionate. But really with the devil energy, it's somebody who can also be very emotionally manipulative. So however that resonates for you, um, to get their own ends... So that could be in whatever scenario this is. It's a person that's linked with this devil energy. The Eight of Swords is somebody who is not moving forward. Could well be because your thoughts are telling you not to. Interesting, because we have the Six of Pentacles. This can be some kind of somebody who's giving you a sweetener in terms of money, career, finances. Oh, well... Uh, will we'll give you a little bit more responsibility or would it help you if I give you, you know, this to work on or uh, we'll give you some kind of token money or gesture knowing that they can give you a lot more than that but they don't. This is just that sweetener to keep you on the hook, to keep you happy, to restore balance in a situation here. So that can be a money, career, financial aspect, you know, um, it's to restore balance and harmony. They just appease you in some way. But it's not everything that they could give you. It's the breadcrumb card. 
Similarly, this can be, again, somebody giving you a token offer. Oh, I'll do more. I'll, I'll, I'll commit more. I'll, I'll give more to the relationship. If I do this, this, this and this, will that be okay? Will that restore balance? This is the energy of the breadcrumb, giving a little bit more just to keep you on that hook, keep you within that negative repeating cycle. And there are things that are very attractive about the devil. It might well be for some of you that you like the team that you work with, you like the location, you might like the job. It might well be for some of you in terms of love romance, there are things that are very attractive about that person, the way they make you feel sometimes, or, you know, um, they're good fun to be around. You know, whatever this is, there are qualities that you like, but it's this behavioral pattern that just spoils everything that becomes more and more of a thing. The Eight of, of Pentacles, uh, it can be about, in many career finances, this is somebody who wants, to, who, is, who wants their work to be appreciated. So for some of you, it might well be that there is a new opportunity coming in because a Knight of Wands can be an offer, it can be a new offer, and it can be to do with money career finances because it can be the Wand energy, it's enterprising, it's where there's growth, success. So this can be a change coming in where you're wondering, do I continue putting work and effort in this current place or do I move in a new direction? It might well be for some of you, you're making some life choices in terms of money, career, finances, of whether to continue staying in a certain circumstances where you are or do something different. Nine of Swords is, is it's really preying on your mind. There's a lot of overthinking going on. So there's a feeling here of there's a decision to be made. This week, take that step back to see the way forward is advised for you. And similarly here, Sagittarius, again, this can be about do I want to continue putting effort and time into a negative repeating cycle or do I just want to scarper? Do I just want to get on that horse and bolt and run and move and put it all behind me? So this is the energy here of, of do I want to continue putting effort and time into a relationship? And again, the nine of swords is stress, worry, anxiety, things preying on your mind. Same message applies. Take that step back to see the way forward. Will serve you well. This could be going to your quiet sanctuary or quiet space, whatever that might be. Could be being near nature, could well be to the countryside, to the seaside. Just taking that space to give yourself some time and space to think will serve you well. It's not really a long period of time, the Four of Swords. It can even be half a day, a day. It's about taking that step back to really see the way forward here. It can sometimes also be about even connecting to other people to give you advice on the way forward. You know, that can be this kind of energy too. Okay, let's see what we have. What do we have for Sagittarius? This is either um, your not necessarily accepting it with open arms, whatever's been offered to you, or you're not sure what to do. That is the energy where you need to take that step back. What do we have for Sagittarius as a final message? You'll see the light, yeah. That's lovely. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penet penetrate the darkness. And we have abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairyland and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. Yeah, this this feels here, Sagittarius, that you're just, you need to take that step back to just get that perspective and you will find the light. You'll see the light. And abundance is really, it can be money, career, finances, but it can also be the energy of where we don't feel lack, where we feel enough and content and fulfilled. That's what we have for the week. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. I, if you did enjoy it, please do like, share and subscribe and I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.